Hey, it's Carl, and I just wanted to do a quick little update on that Vampire Crabitat tank build that I did a couple months ago. Just kind of wanted to fill you in on how things are doing and what mistakes I made, what I would do differently. But I also wanted to tell you something super exciting, which is they've had babies. And I'm so stoked to see little baby crabs running around in there. I didn't really, wasn't expecting that at all. I just was hoping to keep them alive and healthy. But yeah, they're actually having babies, which is super exciting. So I'm going to go through the tank with you, show you how everything's doing, and then show you these babies. So there's the tank as it is today, and uh, you can see the uh, pothos has grown right up to the screen top. It's quite high up there. I've actually had to trim it back already once, and then I folded a piece down so it would spread over more, but it's doing amazing. The Anubius that I planted terrestrially is actually doing really, really well. I'm quite pretty happy about that. And uh, I didn't know how it would do, but it's really doing well. The moss I glued to the rock, that one little section is doing really well down there. But the other two are, they're dry. The one dried out, it looks like it's dead. The other one's just got a little bit of life left in it, but I'm trying to keep it real humid in there. I have plastic over the screen so it keeps humidity in. So, but yeah, some of it's hanging in there. The pillow moss is doing really well now. And that's the key is that it's doing now. Hello. It's doing well now. Um, I actually put the first layer I put down, you can see it here. It actually all died off. It was sitting right at the water level. You can see where the water level is. So it was just saturated and mucky all the time and it just melted down and did not do well. So all I did was put another layer on top and it's doing much, much better now. It's out of the, it's not sitting in the water. It's above the water, but still lots of moisture and it's doing very, very well now. And the separation is still good. The hydro balls have a little bit of muck in them, but not too, too much. The screen's holding up. The, the repti soils, is still there it's all in place with the moss on top yeah so it's all hanging together really well the crabs are burrowing all through it it's really hard to see here you can actually see where the crabs have been tunneling there's a little pocket there and it actually comes right up the side here and they pop out the corner here um, so they are burrowing all through it there's probably all kinds of tunnels I don't even know about in there yet but so now we'll take it under water the water has that kind of black water tint to it that yellowy kind of tea stain and that's I just think from all the moss and the repti soil but it's still clear and it still looks good. That little Elite filter is doing a great job moving water and keeping it filtered and looking good. The moss I glued to the rocks is hanging in there. It hasn't really expanded, but it's holding its own and staying there. It's nice and green and doing okay. The Anubius I planted underwater, when you see that in the first video that the, the Anubius I glued to the rock there, it completely got eaten. They chewed it right down to nothing. And uh, which was surprising because I thought they only ate dead plants, but they obviously eat live plants too. Um, the ferns I planted up top that I stole from the frog tank, they completely ate those as well. So some plants they like, some plants they leave alone. So overall, I'm really happy with the way it's looking and the way it's growing. Things are doing really, really well. The crabs are all happy. The plants seem to be happy. But now on to the most exciting part, the babies. So I've done lots of research on these, on breeding vampire crabs, and there really isn't very much to go on. I cannot find much information at all. But from what I understand and from my observations with my crabs is giving them a good environment, something that they feel comfortable in and it feels natural to them, they're just going to go ahead and breed without a lot of external help, right? So um, from what I understand, the male will mount the female and fertilize the eggs and then she will carry the eggs around for about a month before they hatch. And she can have 20 to 80 eggs and I've never seen anywhere near that many in my tank. But that doesn't mean there's not. There's so many nooks and crannies and tunnels and hiding spots. I know there's more than that in there. But uh, yeah, lots of little babies in there. I don't feed them a lot differently. Um, still a lot of fish flakes and pellets and things like that. Some veggie stuff, but they don't really seem to eat it very well. More the fish foods they do well on. And uh, again, these things will sexually mature in about six months. Mine are nowhere near that old yet. So we'll see how they develop and how they continue to, to grow and get bigger. Some of them are starting to show a little bit of color in their claws now. But yeah, you can see them just picking away at the rocks. I'm sure they're just eating lots of biofilm and whatever algae and stuff they can get off the rocks. Um, again, they're, I see them both in the water and out of the water. They spend a lot of time both in and out of the water like that. Here's some sheds. You can see some little shed exoskeletons. So as they grow, they must be shedding their skins just like the adults. So I'm really excited to see how these things continue to grow and mature, see how long it takes them to get all their colors and to, just to grow up. But yeah, I'm really excited about these crabs. So, Again, here's a little one underwater picking away. Yeah, it just, they're super exciting. I'm really enjoying these guys. 
So I hope you enjoyed that quick little video on these vampire crabs in the tank and see how it's doing. I do expect to build another one. I want to build another one and get both species. There's a red version and a purple version. I want to get both species set up in different tanks. And then hopefully I can breed some more, get some more babies for the store here. And uh, I certainly like to try a little different type of setup. I, I, of course, I'll mix it up a little bit and keep it interesting. So stick around for that. I know I'm going to do that pretty soon. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll subscribe and I hope I'll see you in the next one.